Hello everyone, this is Ms. Shraddha from How to Electronics. In this project, we will design an IT based particulate matter monitoring system along with an automatic air freshener system. The device can monitor and measure the PM2.5 and PM10 concentration in the air. It can also activate the air freshener when the PM level exceeds the danger value. The device can be used in the house, industry, schools, office and around crowded places. Particulate matter refers to microscopic particles of solid or liquid matter suspended in the air. PM10 is particulate matter with 10 micrometer diameter or less and PM2.5 means particulate matter with 2.5 micrometer or less. We proposed an IT based system for measuring and controlling air pollution due to PM concentration. The device can be embedded on a small PCV. The device when powered on starts measuring the particulate matter concentration in air and displays the real-time value on a 0.96 inch OLED display. The ESP32 also connects to the Wi-Fi network and uploads the data to the web server. Using the local IP address of ESP32, you can get the PM1.0, PM2.5 and PM10 value on any web browser. The air quality index value anything above 50 is unhealthy for breathing. So when the pollution level exceeds in air, the fan turns on automatically to blow fresh air. Instead of fan, you can use any other air freshening device like a humidifier that can be connected to the relay. So let's begin with making this great project. The sponsor of this video is Next PCV. Currently, they are having a great offer for new users. You can get $100 for free from Next PCV. This $100 can be used to order the PCV as well as the PCV assembly service. You can also go for the PCV assembly as they have the latest modern tools that can assemble any type of PCV, including flexing PCV or four layers PCV with any type of component package. Currently, Next PCV is doing a sponsorship activity. They will sponsor the creative post with free PCVs and components. They will also offer winners free shipping coupons and other prizes. I have put the entire link below the video. Get involved in it. And one more thing, they are also doing a giveaway to celebrate the Chinese New Year. The prize are 37 in 1 Arduino kit, 45 in 1 sensor module board kit and some coupons. Follow their Facebook post from the description link. Welcome back friends. Let's just see the components required for this project. The first important component is the PMS5003 sensor which measures particulate matter concentration in air and has 4 pins UART interface. We will then need a 0.96 inch I2C OLED display. Similarly, we will need a 12 volt DC fan as a demo. You can use a humidifier as well and then we need a power supply unit. For this, I used 9V or 12V DC adapter. Apart from these components, a long list of other materials is required like ESP32 board, relay, some voltage regulators, diode, resistor, pause transistor and some jumper wires. All these components can be easily purchased from Amazon. Alright, now let's just see the hardware designed and assembly. This is the hardware unit schematic which has been designed in easy EDA schematic and PCV designing tool. Don't be so much panic because of so many connections. I have already designed a custom PCV board for the project. You can use the PCV and assemble all the components on it. So this is how the board looks after all the components are assembled. The device size is small and compact. The board has two female headers for OLED display and a PMS5003 sensor. The skip pad is not required, you can ignore it. You can solder the DC fan or any humidifier unit here. The device can be fitted in any 3D casing from its backside. Okay, I have connected the OLED display and DC fan here, so the entire device looks something like this. Please be careful while connecting the PMS5003 and OLED display as the pins might be different. The device now needs to be powered by a 12V DC adapter so I connected the DC jack. As soon as the device is powered on, the ESP32 will connect to the Wi-Fi network and the OLED display will display the local IP address of the ESP32 board. Then you can see the PM1.0, PM2.5 and PM10 values in the display as zeros. 
This is because the PMS5003 requires some time for getting heated. As soon as it gets heated, the fan inside it rotates and starts collecting the external air sample data. At this moment, the value of PM1.0, PM2.5 and PM10 is lesser than 50 microgram per cubic meter. This indicates that the air inside my room is very fresh and pure. At this time, the DC fan that is connected through the relay is not active. This only gets active if the PM concentration exceeds the threshold value. I have set the value as 150. Now to make changes to the PM values, you need to introduce dust particles, smoke or any gases near the sensor. I choose incense sticks to produce smoke, so let me put it near the sensor. Now the value has exceeded very high as seen in OLED screen. The fan is also active now. This is because the threshold value is crossed and the fan has to turn on to purify the air. This fan will turn off again when the sensor PM values reach less than 150. So now it has gone below 150 and so the fan has stopped completely. This is how our entire system works. You can now use the IP address and paste it into your web browser of computer or mobile phone. After hitting enter, a page will display where you can see PM 1.0, PM 2.5 and PM 10 data. You don't need to refresh the page again and again to see the data as data is updated automatically after a few seconds. This is because the code already has the HX script so that we can request data from the server asynchronously in the background without refreshing the page. Finally, let's see the code part now. So the code requires inbuilt Wi-Fi and a web server library. You also need PMS and OLED library for this code. The three parameters are defined for all three PM values. The relay and buzzer pin is defined as ZPI-023 and ZPI-015. Change the Wi-Fi, SSID and password from here. Then using the library function, we are calculating the quantity of particulate matter concentration in air. You can change the threshold value from here. Currently, it is set to 150. You can use anything that you desire for. The rest of the things are related to HTML request and web page data. This part contains a JAX code for auto retrieving data, and these are the lines for displaying PM values on a web page. The written tutorial for this project is given in the website article, and it also contains the information of component purchase link, the circuit diagram connection, as well as the PCV Garber file link. The source code and library can also be found here. Well, that's all from today's video. Thank you so much for watching.